so this is what's going on on the front timing cover this is the front timing cover and as you can see they call that cavitation is that right there right here okay that thing over there looks like a little bit of corrosion but if you can see there is a small tiny pinhole right there what happened that is the hole where the water pump goes if we look on the back of that hole that goes straight to the area of the of the front timing cover that covers the uh, camshaft so basically you do get this is a pinhole right there the one I show you on the other side that's it if I put the light on the other side you are you see the light through the little pinhole right there you guys see how it changed right there okay so that little tiny pinhole is exactly on the place of the timing cover that covers the uh, right here the camshaft there is really not pressure on this area as you see this is a drain it's just oil draining from the cam bearing back to the oil pan but if you get water in here it will mix it so that was a main issue why there was actually um, milky oil why the oil get milky on this I didn't see any video about this and like I said I was putting the engine together with my brother we noticed that on the timing cover just making sure you guys know if you see your oil getting milky or some sort of try pulling the water pump out I mean it's I know it's a lot of work but it's probably gonna be easier than removing the whole engine at first I thought it was gonna be something related to uh, the heads or something like that but like I say it is a bad it's probably a bad job I'm I'm replacing the engine anyways the engine was bad but just making sure you guys see what was what caused the issue the issue was that little pinhole there actually is on the water pump you see that's the part where the water pump sits on it creates this hole down here it's called cavitation something related with the antifreeze and the aluminum I won't know the exact reason why that happened but those are the consequences just letting you know the only thing you can do at this point it would be getting a used timing cover or a new one new ones are about 400 bucks used ones you can get them around 150 on the scrap yards that have them like I say if you're gonna buy one just make sure you check it and make sure there is no cavitation marks this is one I bought I just pay hundred and fifty dollars for this one as you guys can see it's in perfect shape there is nothing wrong with it not even marks of cavitation this is just rust from seating on shelves but it's in good shape this is a good cover it's a used cover I pay 154 on a scrap jar they pull it out of another engine 64 that's what you're basically gonna need and that was it guys uh, good luck with it have a great day